Welcome to an Achieving Science video. Within this video we are going to look at the resistance graph for that of a filament lamp. It is first of all useful before we begin to remind ourselves of a few key points. First of all resistance. Resistance is anything that reduces the flow of current within a circuit. Therefore this means that the greater the resistance of the component the smaller the current that is able to flow through it for a given potential difference across it. It is also useful to remind ourselves of the two different types of resistors. An ohmic resistor. This is when the current flowing through the conductor is proportional to the potential difference across it. This means if you double the potential difference, the current will also double and the resistance will remain the same. On the other hand, a non-ohmic resistor is when the current flowing through the conductor is not proportional to the potential difference across it. Therefore, the resistance changes as the amount of current flowing through the component actually also changes. Let's apply this then to see how the current varies through a filament lamp. So here we have a filament lamp. Let's now draw a current potential difference graph to see how resistance varies. As you can see, we have like an S shape to this graph. Now this is a curve, and again it shows that the potential difference and current are not directly proportional. It is not a straight line. Therefore, this is an example of a non-ohmic resistor. Now why is it curved? The curve shows that the resistance increases as the current increases. This is a mirror image for both the positive potential difference and the negative potential difference. But why? Well, as the current increases, the resistance gets larger because there is an increase in temperature within the filament. Therefore, as the temperature increases, the particles vibrate more, making it harder for the current to flow. Again, if we reverse the current, it has no effect as this is a mirror image 